Hello everyone, back tuning into the third update for Christmas 2017 from downstairs.com. So we've done two updates so far for Christmas, uh, both being sort of zonal, uh, westerly Christmases. Um, the last one was pretty stormy, uh, actually, so we'll see what the third update tonight uh, has to say. Uh, remember, using the CFS uh, long-range model, just looking for trends, really, at this stage. Obviously, it's far too far away to be talking about exact detail in terms of the weather uh, for Christmas on one day of the year. So, we're just looking for the trend of what the model thinks might be happening sort of around middle, late December, early January, that kind of time of year. But the actual detail of the forecast... Our Christmas Day is far, far too far away uh, to be able to uh, come up with that. So until around middle of December, we're going to be using the uh, long-range CFS nine-monthly forecast website, MetroSeal.fr. And then after that, we will move on to the shorter-range uh, model from wetterscentral.de. And then we'll be able to start looking at the detail for the Christmas uh, period. So at the moment, we're just using model the trains. After two westerly uh, zonal Christmas updates, I suppose we can say we have got a very early trained for a westerly zonal Christmas. But we're only two updates in we've got uh, many more updates to go and we'll see what um happens over the coming few uh, days weeks and i suppose the next uh, sort of month or two so we're going to get on with the third christmas update just to say that uh, we've opened the christmas shop as well at gas so if you've got anything to do at amazon between now and christmas what you have to do is click the green button that says uh, christmas shop it'll take you to our christmas page and then from there the key to it all is to click through the Amazon banners within the Christmas shop. And that will take you directly through to Amazon, uh, where you do your Christmas shopping as well. You don't need to do anything different whatsoever. Just purely the fact that you've gone from Gazov is to Amazon means that we get a revenue fee on the things that you buy, presents that you buy. Uh, from Amazon. So you won't be doing anything different. Um, you'll just be clicking from our website to theirs via the Amazon banners within uh, Gas Shop. Uh, and from that, we get reach you a revenue fee on the things that you are buying. Big thank you to everybody for doing that. Got plenty of time to get Chris shopping in, of course, from Amazon. Uh, so keep plugging this every day until we get towards Christmas. Uh, so just to talk you through the model, uh, as always, it's a CFS nine monthly forecast uh, from the website metroseal.fr. You can find a link to Metroseal on the links page. We're using the midday run wherever, wherever possible. We always try and use the same run for these videos. Uh, so we can't be told off for cherry picking. This is just purely how the charts are coming out. Because the model does run four times a day. So we could uh, pick out midnight, six o'clock in the morning, midday, or six in the evening. We choose midday purely um, for no reason at all. Really. That's just one that we pick out. So uh, it's the midday run generated midday yesterday, the 5th of November. was a 24-hour delay on these charts uh, appearing. And if we can't use the midday run, then we do use one of the other runs but of course wherever possible we always like to use the same run so we can compare back and see what is happening with that particular uh, midday run so we're going to start off on the 8th of december with tonight's third uh, christmas update this is how things are looking we're in this cool northwesterly flow here we've got uh, showers probably a bit wintry across the northern parts of the country high pressure is uh, centering itself to our south we get through to um the 9th and on to the 10th we've been quite a deep area of low pressure that gives us some really wet weather and as that low pressure moves away another low is pushing in and uh, this was diving south was turning the wind into the east so it's a bit of a cold snap appearing uh, on the 12th of December the winds pulling into the east with pressure rising out to the northwest of the country that could be bringing rain or snow to southern parts of the country and then these easterly winds will be feeding in bitterly cold air and probably snow showers to eastern parts of the uh, UK. That's how we go through to the 13th of December, still in that east to uh, northeast flow, probably bringing snow showers to eastern parts of the uh, country. That easterly is very quickly cut off, and high pressure sort of starts to sink down across the country through to the middle of December. It takes, it takes us to the 15th of December with high pressure then collapsing down across the country so we've cut off the easy wind we've lost the risk of snow showers but it's probably still cold and you would expect some quite hard overnight frost there going up to the middle of 
December. That high pressure remains in control beyond mid months. This takes us to the 16th on to the 17th. High pressure is still dominating, although it is slipping towards eastern parts of Europe now, but its ridge is extending in from the east. This is still cold. Nothing has happened to stir up the atmosphere, so it's still cold, frosty, probably barely above freezing by day, and hard overnight frost, and you will probably expect freezing fog uh, with that as well. So, Definitely cold around the middle part of uh, December, initially from an easterly wind and then from high pressure uh, dominating. So the inter run up towards the middle part of the, towards the Christmas period, I should say, move out beyond the middle part of December. And uh, we're very gradually starting to find pressure leaking away out to the west. So low pressure is beginning to reform and starting to gather again out, in, out to the west. Up to the 20th of December, still mostly dry and probably for the south and southeast, still probably quite cold actually. I would suspect it's turning a bit milder with these southwesterly winds coming into Ireland and Scotland, probably with some rain, but for many parts of England and Wales, it would still be pretty cold, fairly dry, and uh, frosty, even up to 20th of December. So it's quite a long, cold spell, actually, that it's going for. But uh, we get towards Christmas, and uh, the cold spell runs out of steam, um, very much so. So this is the 21st of December, and then on to 22nd, and look what's happening. Low pressure is reforming, it's gathering, it's strengthening with the jet stream, out in the Atlantic. So by 23rd of December, running up towards Christmas, we are beginning to move rain bands in across the country and some quite strong winds as well. This looks like it'll be another westerly Christmas for tonight's third update. So this is Christmas Eve when we're in a proper westerly van. It looks very windy. There could be gale force winds across parts of the country. Band of heavy rain, I'm going to is moving through here, followed by sunshine and showers. This takes us to Christmas Day. The Christmas Day on the third update looks like this. Uh, it's windy, it's a westerly wind, so uh, it's not overly cold. Perhaps a bit on the cold side for Scotland. Could be some wintry showers up there, I suppose. But otherwise, it's not overly cold. Uh, it is a windy Christmas Day, and there will be showers, if not longer spells of rain, possibly wintry over hills up in the north. So another westerly Christmas day uh, on the third Christmas update. This takes us to Boxing Day when we're bringing another uh, weather system in across the Atlantic. This is bringing more general rain uh, across the country. Again, f fairly mild airflow for the south, a little bit cooler up in the north. Beyond uh, Christmas, we actually generate quite a severe uh, windstorm uh, just after Christmas. It's 28th of December when this really deep area of low pressure is hitting England and Wales with severe gale force winds and uh, lots of heavy rain. We'd know about that uh, if it came off. And then that gets out of the way and it leaves us a run up towards the new year building in a ridge of high pressure, probably within quite cold air again. So probably a return to night frost there as you're heading up towards the New Year period. However, this one isn't going to last. So by New Year's Eve to New Year's Day, first day of 2018, we are back in this southwesterly flow. So it's very westerly. We get just to Chris, um, just before Christmas, and we lose high pressure. That collapses. We revert to the westerly winds, and then we're off and running with a proper westerly uh, sort of spell of weather over Christmas and going up to New Year. At times, very mild, potentially. You know, it's going to start of 2018. This is a long fetch southwesterly, coming up to the south anyway, so very mild, but also very wet, very windy, possibly stormy at times. And that takes us through the first few days, first week or so of 2018. We continue to look very unsettled, a prolonged spell of westerly zonal weather setting up then from Christmas into the first, at least the first week to 10 days of uh, January. So we're definitely off and running with a trend here for Christmas. It looks like we have three updates and they are all suggesting westerly zonal conditions. Interestingly, um, the last update, a miss update, is suggesting quite a pronounced cold spell around the middle of December. So before Christmas, pre-Christmas, we do get a bit of a cold spell. Uh, but over Christmas itself and up to New Year, in the start of next year, it turns stormy and zonal. So we are off and running with a trend now for um, these uh, this year's Christmas updates. We've done three. All three of them are suggesting mild and zonal weather for uh, Christmas with strong westerly winds, heavy rain, severe gales, that kind of thing. Of 
course, the trend could be completely wrong. Just because we have a trend doesn't mean it's going to be the correct trend. And I suspect there is going to be a lot of twists and turns yet before we get to Christmas. At some point, we're going to get a really cold update because we always do. Um, it might just be a one-off or it might be the start of a new trend. We'll have to wait and see on that. But at the moment, three updates in and they are looking zonal for Christmas. We shall do the fourth update on uh, Thursday. We're going to do fourth update, same time, same place um, on Thursday. So come back for the next installment then. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.